My name is Kain Chandogenius and this will be module 3 of our Microsoft SQL Server tutorial this July to September 2019, actually August and September. So we are going to be talking about how to create views and how to create source procedure. I hope you are a smart person because this course is for smart people because I'm going to be moving too fast. If you are a beginner, you are smart and you are smart and also if you are a programmer that have some knowledge of SQL. So this is module 3. We are going to be talking about views and stock procedures uh, in this class. Again, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. This channel uh, is a voluntary channel and me, it's, it's, as a volunteer I'm doing it so that I can help many people to become DBAs because many people are actually moving on with new technologies and forgetting about SQL Server. So this we are going to move from beginner to expert level. So please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also let me know who you are by leaving me a comment on what you know before that will help me move in the right pace. All right, I'm going to end this end this presentation right now and let's go to continue from where we stopped. So this is where we stopped. We've talked about writing queries, selecting start of date and delete, how to create tables, how to talk about identity columns. You can review the previous lessons to learn about this. Now let's talk about views. A view is simply uh, call it a visual table. So a view is more like a collection of data uh, that are stored and they can be assessed and it, quick, it comes from different tables. So it's actually not existing per se, but it's there and it can be gotten immediately. So sometimes it's called a stored query. That is what it is called sometimes. There is a mix up between, is also what is the relationship between a view and a stored procedure. We'll get to stored procedure in a minute. It becomes clearer when we actually do it. So let's go ahead to create a view. We are going to create a view that returns or that contains first name, last, last name and department. And the interesting thing about views is that you can create it without writing any query. So just right click on view and say new view. Now it tells you what's, what, the, what where will you want the source of data to be coming from. You want the source of data to be TBL student, so we just add it and I'm going to close this, all right? So at this point, I would like to save my view. To do that, just click on the save and just give it a name, VW. So the prefix for view is VW. VW students. So basically, uh, view definition includes no output. Okay, we need to define this view first. We need to define it before we can save, all right? So basically, we want this view to contain first name, last name, and department. So basically, we don't want to be interested in the ID because we, we really don't need it. Somebody may just need to have list of all the students. All right, so now we've selected first name, last name, and department. I'm going to, at this point, to save. I'm going to call it VW students. I'm going to say OK. So we've created a view. So how does it work? Where is our view? Okay, so I'm going to close this view definition and I'm going to go to views and you can see that we have VW students. So if I select at this point, you can see it gives us the name, right? First name, last name, and the name. Now the beauty of view is that you can actually aggregate two columns. So if you want, instead of using first name, last name, you can simply say name. So the name, let's say my name is Kainton Munanyi, and instead of saying first name Kainton, last name Munanyi, you simply say name Kainton Munanyi, or Kainton, Munanyi. And then let's see, let's see how to do that using a view. So instead of using first name, last name, we want to say first name, comma, last name. And it's going to be under the column name. So let's go to redefine our view. So let's find it, yeah. So right click on it and go to design, so this is where you need to now make a little changes. So uh, you can actually modify uh, what we have here. But the easiest way is to manipulate it from the query you have. So it's telling you the query that created this view. So we are going to manipulate it. So instead of saying first name, last name, we are going to say first name plus we want to put either a space or a comma. So I'm going to use, if you are putting anything, whether space or comma, 
you are going to enclose it in single quotes. So I'm going to enclose comma in single quotes and say plus last name. So what I did is called concatenation. I concatenate or join together first name, comma, space, last name. So I concatenated these three things into one. So what you are seeing here is just one thing. So I'm going to give it a column name of name, just name. So I say as name, yeah, name. Yeah, so if you say as, you are giving it a column name. All right, so if I save this, click on the save button, you can see, let's see what is happening in the de definition. You can see the definition, you can see here, alias is given here as well. So I can actually define the same view using the GUI without having to write this code. Okay, I'll save, let's save everything. At this point, if I go to now select from this, you can see that it gives us name and department. That is interesting thing about views. You can select the particular data you want and arrange them the way you actually want it, right? So please play around with it a little bit and it's going to become clearer. Again, a view can be manipulated like a table. So if I say select, uh, just just let me just do it the same way I did, uh, writing a query. So say new query and I'm, I'm going to say select start from VW uh, students. At this point, maybe I, I think I need to, okay, let's say VW students. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to execute. Yeah, so it works. So you see a view behaves like a table, but the data is not actually duplicated. The data is available in the table. The view is just a visual table that defines like a visual uh, way of viewing the record. So once you need it, it will automatically produce it for you, but it doesn't store it separately. Can we quickly talk about stored procedures? I think we've run out of time, so I'd like you to play around with views. Now we are doing it in the easy way. After now, we are going to be getting into something a bit more difficult. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed, and we'll see you in the next lesson.